They are some of the most expensive and breathtaking homes in the county. Multi-million dollar dwellings right on the coastline in La Jolla that offer unmatched views of the ocean. But these spectacular structures may be teetering on the edge of disaster. CBS News 8's Abby Alford is live with the threat posed by erosion. Abby. Carlo, from on the ground and up in Chop Rate, you can see these coastal homes along San Diego's cliffs are about to be swallowed, but scientists don't know just how long it will take. But geologists say it's not only Mother Nature that's the problem, but these homeowners for these cliffs are actually causing the problem, and they think they're protecting it from falling off the cliff. As Chopper 8 flies over San Diego's beautiful coastline, you see these million dollar cliff homes are in real danger. Families literally living on the edge. Enjoy the cliff view of the oceans while you have it, but don't think of it as a family heirloom that's going to pass down from generation to generation. San Diego State University geologist Dr. Patrick Abbott has been studying cliff erosion for several decades and says the ocean won't swallow these homes like a sinkhole, but gravity is chipping away slowly, taking chunks of these homes. People come out and like to measure it every year and say, how much does it go every year? Well, it tends to go practically nothing, 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 and then four feet fall off. But it's not only Mother Nature. Dr. Abbott says homeowners are also to blame for cliff erosion. It becomes like a stack of dominoes falling over one right after another. The armor cliff homeowners build to protect their home, the cement walls, the vegetation and overgrown plants add weight causing cliff erosion. You're speeding up the failure of the cliff. You're adding more weight to the cliff. The water's weakening it, adding more water. Gravity has a stronger pull, so the cliff fails faster than it would have if the homeowner hadn't put in all those so-called improvements. But the beach belongs to the people and not the homeowners. Rules and regulations and plans may slow down the cliff erosion, but it won't stop science. Gravity's going to pull down cliffs no matter what. Dr. Abbott says what we can take from this cliff erosion that's positive is that it is creating more sand, which is helping to maintain our beaches. Carlo. All right, thanks, Abby. The Coastal Commission presented its draft sea level guidelines for San Diego's coast in front of the board last week. Officials are still gathering public comment and will approve a final plan next spring.